فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير Brilliant deal that is mentioned in more than one hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is when you do something regularly even if it is very little So in Islam a better deal than doing something big once would be to do small things on a regular basis that is it so if i'm very kind and generous and one day i donate a hundred dollars to a good cause obviously the figure would differ depending on the size of your pocket mashallah but uh, if i made a big donation one day and then i forgot about it for the rest of the year it would be better for me to donate on a regular basis something that would continue and there are reasons for this you never know the time of acceptance the time of acceptance of your dua perhaps or the time when the multiplication of your good deed is sometimes you do a deed for example i might do a deed in ramadan in ramadan it's multiplied we definitely know this if i fast for example on the 10th of muharram and the 9th with it or the, the 11th with it the reward is far greater than if i were to just fast on an ordinary day but it is a sunnah to fast on a Monday and a Thursday. We don't deny that. But I'm only making mention to you that some days are higher than others. So if you were to do it regularly, it would coincide at some, at some time with a moment of greatness. And perhaps you'd just be, as we would term it, accepted in that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant acceptance. So when we do a deed of goodness, let's continually do it. There is no point in getting up for tahajjud and reading long, long raka'at, but only once in your life. Try and make it regular, even if it is once a week, but let it be once a week. If it is once a month, let it be once a month. Let's hope that it becomes every day, inshallah. Why not? But if you do something regularly, it shows responsibility, it shows dedication, and it shows that by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are a person who would like to see improvement and growth in that particular aspect. If I'm a person who doesn't want to see growth, for example, in a certain aspect of my spiritual life, my religious life, for example, I will come for Salatul Jum'ah and that's it. And I wait for the next Jum'ah. But if I come for Jum'ah and the next time I make sure that I've come a little bit earlier, I've improved. I'm showing that I want growth.